we're back with another author's guide. <music> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now for today's video, I'm going to be doing another historical romance author guide. If you guys haven't watched my other videos yet, definitely go check them out. I have a playlist on my channel's page where I have all my videos that I ever discuss of historical romance authors. If you guys are new to my channel, I make these guides mostly because I go through these rabbit hole phases where I read one book from one author and then I start to read the entire series or I start to read all the author's works and then I make videos discussing the books in the series and then I'll also discussing of whether or not you should read them or not. So for this video, I'm going to be focusing on the author Sophie Barnes. Sophie Barnes is a new to me author. She is an author that I definitely collect on my shelves. I have a lot of her books in a different series as well, but I haven't read them yet. And I only bought them because the covers were just really pretty and there were just auto buys for me. Um, also, I am posting a lot of these guide videos on my channel right now, mostly because in February, I was kind of forced to take a hiatus off of YouTube. So I I decided to binge read a lot of historical romances so now I'm kind of catching up with filming and discussing these books because I figured that they would be helpful for historical romance lovers and also for future readers who want some recommendations. So let's get started on this series. So the one series that I did read is called Secrets at Thorncliffe Manor and this one is a trilogy. It's a book that has a continuing plot line so I would say that you would have to read it in order mostly to know what is actually happening with the undercurrent mystery plotline that is happening. Um, something is involving like a journal, some mysteries, some secrets. Everybody kind of wants to know what's it about. So everybody's kind of looking for it in this like really big like manner, which is like kind of like these two estate houses. And I'll dive deeper into it very shortly. So the first book in the series is called Lady Sophia's Secret Desires. And this book basically follows a unconventional trope or a kind of an unconventional heroine who actually lost her innocence earlier on in the age of her early 20s. And then what happened is that she she gave up herself thinking that the male that she gave up to herself for would actually do the right thing and marry her because they were in love but what happens is that he kind of traveled away and he just never came back so now she's kind of ruined and only her family knows and her family wants to keep it that way her family is very annoyed that she gave up herself and has put them in this predicament where she could have brought a lot of shame onto the family so what they do is they set her up to marry a very disgusting and very vile man but this male is very interested in her mostly because he's a pervert and he is very old and he just wants someone young in his bed and it's gross it's disgusting but this is her life and she is going to make the best out of it for the time being she's staying in this like estate house and then she has like a pet bunny rabbit and then what happens is that her pet bunny rabbit runs away and then our hero comes in and then this is kind of where an unlikely friendship happens. These two have a start a conversation with each other. It kind of turns flirty but then it turns enemies to lovers and then they tend to always get into each other's way while they are in the gardens and also in the adjoining estates and then afterwards this is kind of their romance. I loved how there are matchmaking characters in this specifically on his side. His side has like a mother and a sister who really just likes to get in his business and really wants him to mend his broken heart because he's been damaged before and he thinks that he's never gonna marry again and never fall in love again and things like that but then obviously Lady Sophia is here to kind of like mend and take down his walls so I really enjoyed this book um this one I gave it a four out of five stars if you're a fan of a mystery element to your books then definitely go check them out so the second book in this series is The Earl's Complete Surrender but basically what happens is that she is bored in the house and she's in the house bored and she wants to solve this mystery and then afterwards so she's kind of like going into like different places in the library and the living rooms and like everything like that but then what she also knows is that everywhere she goes she always bumps into our main hero who's also kind of searching for something and they're both trying to solve this mystery that I've been talking about in the first book and the second book involving kind of like journals letters and like treasure hunting and things like that but this hero is kind of new to the estate. He just kind of dropped in. Nobody really knows his background. It's kind of like a little bit dark but um, nobody's really too sure. But what actually happens is that our hero is an undercover spy and he's actually sent in by the king himself so that he can solve this mystery and retrieve this like journal and this diary and whatever it was. And um, this is kind of their, their romance. Now this one is definitely a lot more action-packed. There's a lot more thrilling scenes. There's a lot more mystery. There's a lot more characters involving each other. This, 
thought that this one really deviated from the rest of the series or at least from the first book mostly because these two characters hardly had any chemistry for me I felt like that they were just kind of like friends instead of like lovers and when love did happen I felt that the pacing was really off and I felt that overall the mystery and action took too much out of the romance out of it so I gave this one a two out of five stars so the last book in the series is his scandalous kiss and now this one is a four out of five stars for me I enjoyed this story mostly because our main hero is a scarred hero I think he was wounded in the war and then he's like really like damaged like all over his face so then that way he feels really bad about himself he doesn't feel like that he's ever going to marry someone he doesn't feel like that his life is meaningful anymore because he he is like a monster in from society's eyes um he once owned all this all this like land property wealth and and he was perfect but then now he just has everything that is materialistic except for like confidence in himself um what happens is that he goes to a masquerade and he wears a mask and then he bumps into this wallflower type character who is kind of like really gorgeous and they kind of have like this chemistry blossoming with each other but what happens is that our main heroine is already engaged to someone else and then now he has to kind of step in there and try to save her from this like loveless engagement and and for to make her fall in love with him and I thought that this romance was pretty good it was a three and a half out of five stars for me but then the ending really picked up things and made it more adventurous and made it more thrilling so I gave it a four out of five stars so overall this series was pretty solid it definitely wasn't one of my favorite historical romance trilogies that I have read so I can't say that like I definitely would recommend you to pick up Sophie Barnes but I would like to say that if you do see her books at your thrift shop if you do see your her books at the library and if you're interested in these plot lines then definitely go try it out they're not like a lose-lose situation where you're going to be really upset once you finish the book but they're definitely not going to be like one of your favorites or at least it wasn't one of my favorites when I was reading them it wasn't one that I would say that I would absolutely recommend to you but hopefully this video was still helpful and that you can still pick and choose which books to add to your TBR but until next time I'll see you guys again bye